Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. So today we will discuss what is the function of variable view and data view in its pieces. This is a very important software for researcher and for those uh, students which already enroll in MPL and PhD and especially in the field of social sciences. So now we I first define here what is the variable view and what is data view and what is the function of both of these. So variable view where the researcher define their variables of research taken from questionnaire. The second is data view where the researcher enter all their information collected through a questionnaire. So now let's consider a very short and simple questionnaire and we try to enter their data in its pieces. This is a very short and simple questionnaire that is number first question if you ask in your questionnaire from the respondent that that's your gender area of leaving that is urban and rural education undergraduate graduate and postgraduate this is the three categories and age of respondent that is a continuous variable so now we go to its pieces and we enter this questionnaire in its pieces now this is the window of its pieces. Now look at here at the bottom we have here two options. One is data view, one is variable view. The first step to click on variable view. Now we define here our variable. This is very important uh, to define the variable before proceeding to work on its pieces. So the first is in our questionnaire is gender. So we write here gender. Now we go the second thing is very important that is values. We come to the values and we here define our values. So one I assign to male and then I add to I assign to female and I add. Now the species knew about the meaning of one and two. One mean male and two mean female. Now we come to and click OK. Now if you come to the major this is our measurement scale so as the variable is nominal so we will click here the nominal now we go towards the second variable that was area so as in variable view we cannot give space for example if i give area and then i click space off and in then i enter it will provide an illegal character so this is important that i should write here just a single words with no space for example area but we have here the label so in label you can define what does it mean area that is a leaving our area of leaving Okay, now I go towards again the values and I put here one for urban and two for rural and I edit. And again I will click on the measure so this is a nominal scale because here we don't need need the order or rank of the variable so now the third variable which we consider in our questionnaire was education so i write here education 
so here you can give any word that is uh, you have considered like the respondent education respondent education education now this again we have put here one for undergraduate graduate two for graduate and three for post graduate okay so now we go towards the fourth variable which is a continuous variable so we will put here age and now we go to that you can write here you can label some words here like a respondent the person who will provide information or the person from which the interview will taken is respondent that is a respondent Edge. now we go to the last column and we put here the scale okay in, uh, in the third variable education is uh, this uh, here is the graduate and postgraduate so this is also in a uh, proper order because the undergraduate is the first and then the graduate and then the postgraduate so here is a proper order a rank uh, our exist in this variable so we will put here the ordinal scale now as this is our uh, sample questionnaire if we look at the sample questionnaire so we have the four questions and uh, we uh, define all our variables so research includes uh, a questionnaire which have a lot of questions and they have like 24 question 25 question in different research in different field you conduct interview from the respondents and that uh, respondent you ask a lot of questions so whenever you need uh, how many variables you have or how many questions you have in your questionnaire so according to that you can uh, put or enter your data in a species so now here is uh, i have defined uh, all my variables now the data view is ready to enter the data so this is the first column is gender, the second is area, the third is education, and the fourth is age. So now, uh, for example, if my first uh, respondent was uh, male, and uh, he was living uh, like in, he was living in urban area, or, uh, and his education was like a graduate, and his age was for example is 27 so for example the second uh, respondent was a female and she is also from an urban area and the education was like uh, a graduate and the age was 28 so the third is for example a male and his area of living is rural and its education is like undergraduate and age is uh, 25. So uh, now you can check what does it mean of one, two, three, and uh, this one, two, one, 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 two, three, two, one. So this is now the look at here the numerical and the categorical connection. So just click here and it will show you what does it mean like the one male, the the two is female then male and urban so it will show you uh, what does it mean and how you define this in a species so this was our first tutorial uh, species uh, to just uh, defining your variables from your questionnaire in a species so inshallah further we will uh, enter the data and uh, how we will further uh, uh, use the function the different function of a species so inshallah now i will give uh, this information in the next tutorial so thank you very much